welcome to my youtube channel if you have not yet subscribed please do subscribe meanwhile i'm still introducing you to this video so this video guys i'll be guiding you on uh, how to approach std assignment 3 so as you all know guys i'm not a lecturer i'm just a law student okay? so as you can see guys assignment number three is a written assignment okay? then the first question states that what are the difference between criminal and civil cases then here guys you just need to use google you need to use google to understand what is a civil case and what is a criminal case and then you're going to be able to learn the difference be between these two i still remember that in my days ne, that uh, civil civil is when someone suing the other person for example and then with criminal case uh, criminal case most of the time it has punishment the other party has to go to jail yeah that's what i know yeah. the defendant has to end up by going to jail and what what that's what i know so what, what you have to do here you just have to google and then understand uh criminal and the civil case is better then you're going to be able to take the difference between those two then point number two state that for each of the following five cases please state one whether the case is a criminal or civil in nature two which court has jurisdiction in the case so the mistake that most of you cannot make is that you only tell the nature of the case and then leave it there you don't talk about or you don't touch the part about court ne? so whatever you have to touch the part of court also ne? so in my days we used to choose between district division and regional division those are the courts ne? We used to choose between district district division and regional division like for an example if let's say that 2.1 is a uh, a civil it is a civil matter i'm to say it is a civil case then you have to say civil case and then you have to choose the court whether it's going to be district or region you have to take one like let's say that we are taking district then you're going to say civil case and district division court ne? that's how you're going to be answering it from 2.1 to 2.5 you state the nature of the case and then you choose between district division and regional division then point number three point number three what are the difference between negotiation mediation and abbreviation so if you're doing par 1501 uh, it's going to be simple for you to understand this thing because of, i know that the study guide explained these three things better but if you are not doing it still fine you can use google to understand what the different what is a negotiation mediation and abbreviation then you're going to be able to take out the different the different points um from those things yeah and then as you can see guys it state that 200 ways please make sure that you push it close to 200 ways if you're lazy please make sure that you push it to 200 weights if not 200 weight but please make sure that it's 190 some nine yeah 190 or 190 something weights because of the more po the more weights you put there the more marks you might get unlike for you just to put it like maybe like you write only 100 weights and then you leave it there that's not going to be good for you so please make sure that you put more weights make it 200 or maybe make it 100 and something man 190 something somewhere like that then you have pushed your work so guys uh, thank you for watching if you have any question based on this video please do comment